other than talking, they moving like zombies. So we're gonna go power forward, right hand it. I'm gonna put number eight. All right, so you gotta go down to the playmaking and defending pie chart. And then for the physical profile, I would suggest going with the speed and vertical just because you get like a plus 10 to your vertical, plus 9 to your vertical, and it only takes away like 3 of your speed. Alright, so we're going to max all these out, and we're going to put this up until we hit 10, which should be like 72, I think. Nope, it's a 70. So 70. We're going to max these two, we're going to max this, and we're going to put this up until we hit 5 shooting. Max... Max your post moves, and you're gonna put this up one notch. You're gonna get nine playmaking, and then we're gonna max interior defense, lateral, rebounding, and then the rest are gonna go on our block. So we're gonna have an 80 block rating. That's before we mess with the height. So, but we got 10 finishing, five shooting, nine playmaking, 18 defensive, which is a lot of defensive. All right, and 10 finishing just because you're going to get all the contact dunk animations at 98, I believe. Yeah, you're going to get all the contact dunk animations at 98. So, so you will be able to play defense. You will be able to dunk on people. You will be able to shoot fairly consistently, and you can handle the ball. That's not a lot of shooting. Yes, it is, bro. I could, I could kill out there with silver quick draw in. Gold range extender, or the other way around. I could kill out there with that. All right, so we're gonna go burly, down to six seven. You can go six eight, but mind you, you only get one dunk package. So go. I would suggest go down to six seven because you're a slasher. You want all the d contact dunk animations that you can get. And I suggest go two forty. Yeah, two forty four. Wingspan. I suggest leave it neutral. And then this is all up to you, but if you choose this, you're going to be catching bodies. So we're going to go with the slashing takeover because we are glass cleaning slashers. Oh, yeah. And now for the finishing badges, you always want this as high as you can get it. You feel me? Slithery. I'll say do silver and silver. All right, for the shooting, I suggest silver range. I mean, not silver range, gold range extender and silver quick draw. Now for your playmaking badges, you kind of want to be selfish with this one. You can't really spare it for Dimer. You can if you want to, but if you want to score, you need this Hall of Fame. You could probably put this, probably silver. Actually, we'll put that gold, all right? You ain't going to have no Dimer. You're going to have gold handles for days. Hall of Fame quick first step because you are 6'7". That can access Hall of Fame quick first step. And triple threat is so deadly, especially when you're sizing somebody up. And then for your defensive badges, it depends on if you're going to be playing guard or center. But you always want this Hall of Fame. That's a given. You always want this. You can put this to silver. You're, you're a rebounding, slash, a glass cleaning slasher. So you could put this on gold. You could go Hall of Fame, but you could put it on gold. You could still set big bodies without brick wall. Pick Dodger, just in case you might be playing up. Switch this around. If, you, if you're not playing... A guard if you're not playing the one or the two if you're playing threes only put this on if you're not playing the center position all right now if you're going centers I would put this at least gold all right and then you can put this gold so we got gold clamps so with this bad setup you can guard centers and guards at the same time if you really have to switch back and forth in one game so hopefully you like this video make sure you subscribe or post notifications and until next time I'm out